30 long years and it's all led up to this. My greatest achievement. Probably should've worn pants. We're here to celebrate the defeat of that skunk, Lil Gideon. Boo! Please, please, boo harder. Boo! Smile for the camera. Your camera's a cinder block, Toby. I just wanna be a part of things. What? Journal? Oh, <laughs> you mean this old thing? It was so boring, I couldn't even finish it. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. Wait, you're just gonna give it to me? Just like that? What else do you want, a kiss on the cheek? I, I gotta go. Blah! I wouldn't mind a kiss on the cheek. Not gonna happen. Hey, Mr. Pines, what's that code word I'm supposed to yell when I see a government vehicle? Wait, what? Government vehicle? The mystery shack is now closed. Everybody out. I will not hesitate to use the hose on the elderly. Welcome to the mystery shack, gentlemen. What can I get you? Keychains? Snow globes? These rare photos of American presidents? Ugh, this can't be happening. I wanted answers so bad, I put everyone in danger. Now we're toast, it's all my fault, and no one can save us! Ah! Ah! No! Mabel, I'm sorry! Jerks, you ready to die twice? <laughs> the only wrinkly monster who harasses my family is me! Take that and that! <laughs> Eat it, no eyes! <laughs> Anyone else want a piece? <laughs> I can make noises with my body, sometimes intentionally. Hey, easy with that. It's genuine plastic. And repave the cracks in the parking lot while you're at it. I don't want my car falling into China. Mr. Pines, what exactly caused all this damage? I need to write a report. Uh, Big Woodpecker. Keep the change. I'm winking under my eye patch. Who wants stand cakes? They're like pancakes, but they probably have some of my hair in them. Gravity Falls Gossiper accepted my article about summer fashion tips for squirrels. My picture is going to be in the newspaper. Check it. Pacifica Northwest declares V-necks the look of the season. What am I looking at here? Whoa, whoa, what? Looks like someone bought their way to the front page. Is it legal for a child to wear that much makeup? <laughs> Holy smokes! Someone in our family actually has talent! Well, if it isn't the Pines family, fat, old, lame, braces. Zeus, would it be wrong to punch a child? You're right, guys. I just need to practice a little more before midnight. Go to the golf course after dark, you say? I don't know, we'd have to break in and... Just kidding, let's break in! <laughs> Owen, hey, Mabel. <clears throat> Knock her dead, kid. Well, the kids are taking their time. Looks like it's gonna be a while. Ah. Sure are a lot of stars out tonight. Well, this is getting weird. Puppet boy, puppet boy, you're the boy I love. <laughs> Not even gonna ask. Hey, I'm Puppet Stan! Still ignoring this. <sighs> hey, Mabel. <sighs> Whoa, bag check for Dipper's eyes. <laughs> Nobody? Dipper, I told you to get some sleep last night. Here, wake up with some Mabel juice. It has plastic dinosaurs in it. It's like if coffee and nightmares had a baby. Whoa, children fighting. I can sell this. Hey, Dipper. What did one sock puppet say to the other sock puppet? I don't know, Mabel. What? You look like you could use a hand. <laughs> that joke was really something. Yeah, something terrible.
You ever wonder what Zeus does when he's not here at the Mystery Shack? No, not really. Not once ever. <laughs> Hello! Ah! Please, don't let my horrible elderly face frighten you. Don't you want to use that nickel to get a nugget from old Goldie? Uh. Watch this! <laughs> okay, seriously, Mr. Pines, it's time to throw that thing out. Its face reminds everyone of the inevitability of death. What? Sure, he's a little rusty around the edges, but old Goldie's a classic showstopper like me. Huh? <laughs> ah! Kill it! Kill it! Zeus, a little advice. You need to get rich, or lie about being rich. Outside of that, I don't like your chances. Hello, old friends. I've got to be careful this time. No more Colombian nights. All right, Stan, this is weird even for you. You need to talk. Nothing you can say will change my mind, Wendy. Sometimes a man has to steal an animatronic badger to stay in this crazy game called life. Or you could just not care. It's about the principle. No one tells Stan Pines he's out of the game. No one tells... Ah! I'll get your orthopedic back pillow. Thank you. Two kings! Traveler, I see your car broke down on this lonesome country road. A place so remote that no one can hear your screams! Pretend I didn't say that. Come in, come in, but be warned. If you enter, you may be subjected to my tales. Tales designed to sell my merchandise! <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of something funny I heard earlier. You've come to the Mystery Shack after hours. A time when only our creepiest and most cursed objects are for sale. Like that thing there. <sighs> no, not a fan. Too many orifices. All right, I can tell what you're looking for is this disembodied hand. Why is it so expensive? Well, <laughs> that's quite a tale. And it's called Hands Off! No, seriously, Hands Off. That's not for sale. All right. Hands off! Look at these faux gold beauties. They're mob boss quality. All right, kids. Prepare to watch the delicate art of the deal. Hey, Hagface! How much for the junk watches? Uncle Stan, are you seriously shoplifting from a witch? That sounded like a curse. That sounded like a curse! Hey, anyone want to buy a wet blanket? We got a wet blanket for sale! Oh. <laughs> I can't survive in this market. <laughs> curse. Yeah, right. Ah! Wait, is this curse ugly or normal ugly? <laughs> Looks like I got off scot-free. Oh. Ah! All right, kiddos, breakfast time. Prepare your mouths for... <laughs> I might have got cursed a little, but the watch looks nice, right? Foolish man! Thieving hands find a wicked face! You must return what is it yours! That's better. Uh, I told you, Grunkle Stan. You gotta give that watch back and apologize. What? That old crone should apologize to me for denying my right to buy cheap junk. I don't need hands. I've got self-respect. <laughs> Mabel, sweetie, will you make your uncle some hands? Nice work, kid. See? Hands are overrated. I'm ready to take on the day. Ma'am? Ah! Ah! Hey, Mr. Pines. Should we play toss me a dozen eggs like we always do? No, Jimmy, wait! Not today! <laughs> Not today! Let's find that witch. All right, you horrible wench. You got me. Stealing is wrong, etc. Take it. 
Now can I have my hands back? I have a certain gesture I'd like to share with you. Shaky! Scratchy! I've missed you, old rascals! You're all right, sister! Will you be my boyfriend now? Nope, never. Well, I learned nothing. All right, I get it. You don't want the hand. You're a savvy customer. But perhaps you'd be interested in buying, um... This magic pig! Sure, he doesn't look magic, but there's a very interesting story I'm about to make up about him. And it's called... A Baconings! You know what? You're right. Don't buy the pig. In fact, I'm better off leaving it with my niece. No shooting in the house, sweetie. But perhaps I could interest you in something else. Like these spooky movies. Movies are great. You watch the movie, you scare the girl, the girl snuggles up next to you, next thing you know you gotta raise a kid, your life falls apart. Forget that last part. Oh. Everything about this is bad. Well, that just put me 90 minutes closer to death and wants his privacy. I can respect that. Well, everyone over the fence. I don't get it. You don't want the pig. You don't want my tapes. What are you gonna buy? How about this delicious potion? Here, have a free sample. You should have bought my merch when you had the chance, buddy. But that's okay. I'll have something new for sale very soon. <laughs> And here we have our latest attraction, the legendary Cheapskate. I saw it blinking. <laughs> Just an optical illusion. Come along, everyone. Step right up. <laughs> That's right, I'm a jerk. Rappers are visionaries, Wendy. If they told me to eat my own pants, I would do it. Eat your own pants, eat your own pants, yeah. I guess I have no choice. Do -do -do. Wendy, Zeus, we need to go see old man McGucket. We'll explain on the way! Duh. Hey, what about work? Kids! Why is Zeus eating his own pants? Hey, no sweat, dude. I'd do anything for the Pines family. Zeus! I need to scratch myself in two places at once! And I mean anything. Coming, Mr. Pines! I even petitioned the government to have this day removed from calendars. Now I'm not allowed on airplanes. Balloon faster, Zeus! We need this thing up in the air before the festival ends. Are you sure that that open flame should be that close to that dangling cloth and rope? I'm sure about everything. Now loop up those engine gears with some kerosene. More kerosene! It's finally done. When these idiots see this balloon, they'll understand that I love young people. I heart kids. All right, let her rip. <laughs> oh no, a letter rip. What the H? <laughs> Huh? I eat kids, but we're kids! It's heaven's punishment for our terrible taste in everything! Mommy, is the floating head going to eat us? Yes, Charlie! Yes, he will! What's everybody crying about? In my day, zeppelins fell from the sky like raindrops. It's him! The horrible old man from the sky! You know what? Being loved by the youth is overrated. Being feared? Now that's priceless. Not so fast, kids. There is no way on earth you're setting off those dangerous illegal fireworks. Without me. Today's the day. What is that, a ladybug? What the? Oh no! I don't understand. What did I do that warrants this much arresting? Uh, guiltison. I mean, in a guilty. Um... Can I have my phone call? Oh, panic. That could be anyone in that suit. God, hot Belgian waffles! Wait, I'm alone. I can swear for real. <gasps> Son of a... That's him, all right. Morning schmornings. How's about maybe a thanks for saving you from what appears to be, I don't know, some kind of sci-fi sideburn dimension? But first, tell me, Stan, are there any security breaches? Does anyone else know about this portal? No, just us. Also, maybe the entire U.S. government. The what? Look, Stan, I can't pass up a chance like this. This school has cutting-edge programs and multidimensional paradigm theory. Beep boop, I am a nerd robot. That's you. That's what you sound like. <laughs> Just give me a few more days, Rico. I'll pay your goons back, I swear.
haven't seen your brother in over ten years. It's okay. He's family. He won't bite. Who is it? Have you come to steal my eyes? Well, I can always count on you for a warm welcome. I have something to show you. Something you won't believe. Look, I've been around the world, okay? Whatever it is, I'll understand. There is nothing about this I understand. No, you don't understand what I've been through. I've been to prison in three different countries. I once had to chew my way out of the trunk of a car. You think you've got problems? I've got a mullet, Stanford! <laughs> yeah, it's nice to finally have a day where nothing interesting happens whatsoever. <laughs> Great, now get it out of here. It smells like if death could barf. Say, is this that game that's mostly math and writing and isn't anything like the picture on the box? Yes, it is! You want to play with me, Grunkle Stan? Ha! Look, kid, I prefer to do my dice rolling in Vegas. Besides, only a game designed by nerds would have charisma as a fantasy power. <laughs> Check this out. When facing yon adversaries, shield thyself under an elfin buttress. Ha <laughs> ha! Say it again! Buttress! <laughs> <laughs> I am Probabilitor, the greatest wizard in all mythology. Give or take an error of 0.4. Uh, is this normal? Uh, maybe let him get a couple bites in Ford's brain first. Even things out smartness-wise. Grunkle Stan! We must be getting close. These fairy bites are getting more frequent. Hey, look, listen! Grunkle, no! Is he dead? He's magic, sweetie. I'm sure he's fine. There's no cops in the forest. We take this to our graves. I cast Centaur Tar! <laughs> Mabel, I am so confused and so proud right now. All right, Stan. Another day, another random body pain. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa, let's not take this line. There's an old person in it. Psh, yeah, he's probably going to pay with, like, pennies and war bonds. Hey, for your information, I was going to shoplift most of this. Security! Aw, oh, seriously? Ah! Well, TV, at least you appreciate me. Give me the good news. This just in. The mayor is dead. What? Oh, yeah? Well, your face is more fat than not fat. <gasps> oh, snap. Look, kids, the mayor kicking the bucket got me thinking. I'm an old man, and I'm not getting any younger. My dumb brother's research is probably going to make him famous. And what do I have to show for my life? Do I really want Crooked Grifter on my tombstone? How about Crooked Mayor? Kennedy Stan, first question. How do you feel about the American flag? Meh, I could take it or leave it. Too many stripes. Next question. Mm, I don't know about that. What would you do to help educate our kids? Heh, <laughs> simple. Put them on an island and make them fight for dominance. Also teach kids swears. That'll bring them into the real world. What would you do about the crime in Gravity Falls? Wait, do you mean crime in general? Or just the specific crimes committed by me? Okay, interview's over. Candy, what's the damage? Your approval rating started at zero. Now it's a number lower than zero. You're memeing fast and none of them are good. Okay, we'll only jump in if he starts doing badly. Hiya there! Stan Pines here! Let's get real! Do you think the women of Gravity Falls wear too much makeup? Jump in! Jump in! Ooh. I'm, I'm Stan, Stan Pines. Pines. You may know me as that guy who accidentally let all those bees loose in that elementary school a few years back. hey Stan! Now just the ladies! Stan! Now just the ladies my age! Stan! Woof, never mind. Easy! Taxes are the worst! I propose we stimulate the economy by waging wars on neighboring cities. We have the cannons. <laughs> and that is why, um, the Statue of Liberty is our hottest landmark. <laughs> right, I lied. She's kind of mannish. What do you want from me? Kids! <gasps> Listen, everybody, this debate is over. I gotta go save my family. Those, those are just some demolition dummies. Nothing to see here. Can it, Gleeful? <laughs> In a shocking turn of events, Stan Pines has run to the aid of two children who appear to be in danger. And the crowd is loving it. No, stop it. Thank you, but 
Stop it! Get back, you terror birds! I'm sorry I was being stubborn. I guess being the town's hero wasn't enough. I wanted to be yours, too. We're sorry, Uncle Stan. We should have supported you, win or lose. Probably lose. I can still drop you, you know. <laughs> no, 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 not again. Time to take care of you once and for all. Oh, no. We have to get out of here. Kids. If I die, make sure I get a bigger tombstone than Ford. Despite winning an overwhelming 95% of the vote, election officials had to disqualify him due to discovery of an extensive criminal record. Oh, boy. Stan, what did you do? What didn't I do? Crimes include shoplifting, teaching bears to drive, a new crime he invented called Burgle Bezelment, first degree llama side. That llama knew too much. We will dedicate the rest of this broadcast to listing Stan's crimes. First degree thermometer theft, pug trafficking. Woo, at least they didn't list any of the bad ones. <laughs> Uncle Stan, are you crying? I got campaign confetti in my eye. Come on, kids. Want to go vandalize Mayor Tyler's mansion? Yay! <laughs> All right, Santiago, you have 24 hours to get these pugs across the U.S. border. Family meeting! Family meeting! No te preocupas! Vamos! Vamos! Psh, come on, dog. Ah, it's the cops! Got it! Money! And don't forget bug spray. It's perfect for spraying in the face of hitchhikers. The more the merrier. Just sign these non-disclosure agreements. None of your parents are lawyers, right? Kid, those useless pamphlets have never helped a single person. The only wrinkly old travel guide you'll need is me. Now look alive. We're coming up on an attraction run by the most black-hearted proprietor in all of Oregon. Don't let the face fool you. This woman lit my car on fire on two non-consecutive occasions. Ah, upside downtown, the nausea capital of the state. Whatever you do, don't use the bathrooms. Then I said to the bouncer, where's your ID, ugly? That's where I got this scar. <gasps> Man, coyotes sound a lot worse than I remember. <laughs> don't worry, toots. That spider people stuff is just an urban legend. I can't believe people fall for it. You're so brave. What can I say? I'm a real catch. Yes. The catch of the day. Uh, I think your contacts fell out. Ah! Good news is I've solved the mystery of where Oregon's mummies come from. The bad news is I'm about to become one. Turns out Darlene is one of those spider people. But beyond that, the date's been okay. Please, I don't know if you're really up there or not, but if you are, please save me, Paul Bunyan. Mr. Pines! Whoa, did that really work? I still feel a little bad about wrecking those tourist traps. Ah, come on. Everyone loves my pranks. And the best part is, I never have to face any consequence. Sweet Lord! Ah, oh, come on! That's what you get! That's what you get! <laughs> I don't understand. I completely don't deserve this. That's not the only good news coming up. In one week, my senior citizen ponytail kid is coming in the mail. I'm... I'm kind of going through some things. Not so fast, Goofus and Girl Goofus. After that zombie incident, no one's throwing another party at my house. I keep fighting little bits of the undead in the couch cushions. Hey! That's it, Goat! It's time I threw you off this property for good! On second thought, I'm gonna run like a coward now. So I was hammering signs out back when the sky started vomiting nightmares. I listened to a lot of AM radio, so I knew what this meant. The end of the world. The plan's to stay in here and eat brown meat until we run out. Then I vote we eat the gnomes. Hey, I'm short, not deaf. Shh, shh. Stress will make you chewy. Discuss nothing. These scribbles are a bunch of cockamamie balderdash. 
Excuse my French. Je ne sais quoi sacré bleu avoir. This whole plan is bonkers. But of course, no one asks the chief what he thinks. After all I've done for everyone. Schmebulock. Yeah, exactly. It's a total load of Schmebulock. It's your place, Crunkle Stan. Don't you remember? Even a little? Nope. But this chair hugs my butt like it remembers. Ah. Hey, why the long faces? You guys look like it's someone's funeral. Who's that big guy crying in the corner? <laughs> There's gotta be something around here that can help bring him back. This'll work. This has to work. Here's the first day we came to Gravity Falls, Grunkle Stan. And here's a macaroni interpretation of my emotions. That time we went fishing? That summer ween we spent together. Don't you remember anything? I'm sorry. I don't know what this is or who you are or... Ah, quit it, Waddles. I'm trying to remember my life story. <gasps> what did you say? I said get Waddles off of me. <gasps> it's working. Keep reading. Skip to my page. He needs to remember our boss-employee relationship. Hey, just because I have amnesia, don't go trying to give yourself a raise, Zeus. It's happening. Keep going. Okay, okay. Day two. Grunkle Stan smells weird, but we're starting to bond. He told us a lot about being a businessman in the 80s and seemed happy when we pretended to listen. He also gave me a grappling hook, which everyone is impressed by. And in more important news, I met some neighborhood hotties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Seuss. It's just there's no one around to run it. At least there wouldn't be if I hadn't just found the perfect replacement. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mystery Shack is under new management. You, you mean it, Mr. Mystery? You're Mr. Mystery now, Seuss. Try not to burn the place down. Uncle Stan, thanks for wearing my goodbye sweater. Uh, it's cold out. I had to. What? But it's like 80-something degrees out today. Can it, Seuss? Come on, come on. I have to go. I'm, I'm sorry, Waddles. Ah, uh, you know what? Forget it. I lived with this pig all summer. Now your parents are gonna have to. Hey, bus guy! This pig is coming with the kids! Now, hold on a second. Bringing animals aboard a moving vehicle is strictly prohibited by... Why, well, welcome aboard. You can sit in the front row, pig. Kids, you knuckleheads were nothing but a nuisance, and I'm glad to be rid of you. You too, Uncle Stan. 